Let's look at the following example in which we're going to deal with an expansion of an ideal gas that takes place adiabatically and slowly. Let's begin. Suppose that an ideal monatomic gas is compressed adiabatically and slowly from point 1 to point 2 as shown in the following diagram. So we begin at point 1 where the volume is V1 and the pressure is P1 and we go to point 2 adiabatically and slowly where our volume is V2 and the pressure is P2. So if we know what V1 is and we know what P1 is and we know the temperature at point 1 and if we're given the pressure at point 2, let's calculate the volume of our ideal gas at point 2. So calculate the volume at point 2. So because we're dealing with a slow and adiabatic process, we can use the following equation to calculate the volume at point 2. So, what this equation basically states is the following. The product of the pressure and the volume raised to this ratio at any point during our adiabatic and slow expansion is equal to a constant. So this Cp is simply the molar specific heat when the pressure is constant. And this Cv is simply the molar specific heat of our ideal gas when the volume is constant. Now recall when we spoke about the equal partition principle of energy, we said that Cv, the molar specific heat, when our volume is constant, is equal to 3 divided by 2 multiplied by R. And when we spoke about the molar specific heat, we said that the relationship between Cp and Cv is given by the following equation. So Cp is equal to Cv plus R. So before we actually use this equation, we have to rewrite the ratio Cp divided by Cv in terms of just R. So, we have Cp divided by Cv. Now, Cp is equal to this quantity. So, we replace Cp, our numerator, with the following result. So, Cp divided by Cv is equal to Cv plus R divided by Cv. Now, from this result, we know that Cv is equal to 3 halves multiplied by R. So we replace Cv with this quantity. We get 3 divided by 2 multiplied by R plus R divided by 3 divided by 2 times R gives us the following fraction. So these R cancel and we're left with 5 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2. So the 2's cancel and we're left with 5 divided by 3. So the ratio Cp divided by Cv for a monatomic ideal gas is equal to the ratio 5 divided by 3. So that basically means we can represent Cp divided by Cv with the following ratio. So, the pressure at point 1 multiplied by the volume at point 1 raised to 5 divided by 3 is given by or is equal to the product of P2 multiplied by V2 raised to 5 divided by 3. So, we essentially want to solve for V2 and we get the following equation. So V2 is equal to the product of P1 multiplied by V1 raised to the power of 5 divided by 3 divided by P2 and this entire ratio is raised to the power of 3 divided by 5. So we plug our known values. We know P1 is equal to 80,000 pascals. And we know that P2 is equal to 160,000 pascals. So the pascals will cancel. Now our V1 is given to be 0.8 meters cubed. So we plug in that value. Notice we didn't actually have to use the temperature because this equation only relates volume and pressure of an adiabatic and slow expansion. So 
we plug in our values into our calculator and we get approximately 0.53 meters cubed is the volume of our ideal monatomic gas at position 2.